Well, he I had forget been at this. his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Sounds like no a great one day to showed me. up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete Maybe he's isolation. there on a weekend. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Ah, I am a floating head. Can I click keys like on my keyboard? No? What is this, some kind of freaking horror game? What the hell? Five minutes later. Excuse me, door. Can you open? Door, 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 can you open, please? Hey, it let me out this time. So, turns out the first time I just locked myself in like an idiot. But you know what happens. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Oh no. Stanley decided to go to the meeting All the people room. I Perhaps hate have left the building. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. What is this? And I ruined that. Um, telephone? Maybe? Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't <laughs> make a single difference. Nor did it There's advance only one the little story thing in him. Stanley clicked on literally every single door in the office. Yes, because I Because he doesn't pick up well on cues from his environment. You know what? You want to insult me like that? I will not play your stupid little game. I do not have to. I chose to, which means I could quit at any time, but... You've got my attention. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. But why would I enter the door on the left when I could go to the right? Because I'm right-handed. And right-handed people are superior. So let's just close this door. Can't close that door. And I'm not going to listen to the voice because I hate authority. So I'm this going to the This was not the correct right. way to the meeting room. And Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first. Just to admire it. I will not listen to you. You are not my conscious. You are not my boss. This is my day to be free. This is my day to do whatever I want, and I will not listen. I will not obey your petty orders, computer. Okay, maybe just this one. Your co-workers have mysteriously vanished. Here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Yes. Really worth it. Yes, it is worth my time because I can do as I please. You are not my boss. But eager to get back to business, Stanley sure. took the first open door on his left. Again. I'm right-handed. So I don't know if I want to go left. This looks fun. There's a hazard sign. I want to jump off some things. Hmm. I have neither $1,000 or $5,000. So might as well go for it and go for the 5000 Correct? Isn't that how it works? I like I like bigger numbers, I like more monies. I don't think I can use this anyways because I don't got a freaking key card. So I guess I step on Look, and Stanley, jump I think off. Perhaps we've got not but in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, yes. Stanley left from the platform and plunged to his death. Yes. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Thank you. Okay, I guess let's go the All same rounds. Okay, no what one cares. No one cares. Stanley decided to go to the meeting. Shut room. up. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh yeah, did I miss a memo? Mm -hmm. Did I miss a memo, Mr. Conscious Man? Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Yes. I'm not your enemy, really. I'm not. 
Are you not? I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Oh. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Oh, someone yeah? you've forgotten about. Who's that? Please. Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. But that's what I'm I not do. asking for me. I'm asking for her. Who is her? Because my wife is not here. So. Is it, Stanley? Your chance to redeem yourself. Who is To it? put your work aside. To let her back into your life. Who is her? She's been waiting. But what if I go back on the thing? Nothing. Okay. Oh, I have found her. She is a forklift. Her nickname is Bulldog. She is the love of my life. Look at those luscious lips. And those two eyeballs. And that weird tape unibrow. Oh, but it's so sexy. And, and the chin. Don't even get me started on the chin. She is the love of my life. Her name is Barbara. Barbara the Bulldog. But, I must leave. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. But... I just saw Barbara. Why is she calling me? Can I unplug the phone? As Stanley picked up the phone, oh. a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. Hope for a life reunited one... Wait. Oh, goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? No, that wasn't I don't want to talk to Barbara. Choice. How did you do that? Because I am in control. incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Really? Let me double check. That doesn't sound right. I just didn't no, want to talk to Barbara. It's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. Is it? How is that even possible? Well, I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? Yes. You're not Stanley. Mm. You're a real person. I am. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's oh, as though no. you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you yes. not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. Oh, yeah? I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Please you know what? I don't care. Instructional video. 